What is happening and welcome to another Four Wheel Drive Talk episode, episode 51. Now friends, it is Thanksgiving this week and we have a full plate of 4WD Talk to share with you. Now first up, you know, we're going to discuss the all new Scout EV and take a look at a teaser. Actually, there's a couple teaser images that show a few details. Then we're going to switch gears here a little bit and explore Earth Roamer's incredible new SX off-grid RV. Needless to say, this thing is big, beautiful, and capable of roaming just about anywhere you would ever want to go with this thing. Now then, of course, we'll close things off with taking a look at the North America Car, Truck, and SUV finals. There, there are, to say a few uh, surprises, is an understatement. But first, friends, look, every single week we put these videos together full of small little bite-sized little news nuggets to keep you informed as far as what is happening in the industry. Now, of course, if we are successful and you find some value with this video, friend, there's, a, I say to every single video, there's that YouTube algorithm. So every time you hit that like button, not only does it sell, send a signal to YouTube, letting them know this video is helpful, then YouTube's going to share this video with others, getting more people familiar with our channel. And friends, that is a big bonus to us. We really appreciate it. So anyways, would appreciate you hitting that like button. That said, let's, uh, let's get on to this week's headlines. Now, as we've discussed in previous episodes, Volkswagen is reviving the International Scout as a electric vehicle. Now, VW has plans for SUV and truck variants. Now, things seem to be really moving along just well for the Scout. Now, VW recently released a new website for it. It's called scoutmotors.com. Now, there's not a lot of information on this site, so if you're running over there, don't expect really much at, well, at least at the time of shooting this video here, there wasn't a lot on there, but there are a couple very interesting images of what the new Scout heck might look like. And so we can see on one side here, we see a pickup. It looks like a four door. And of course we have a SUV. Now there's even a form on this page. So you can get geeked out and start talking with uh, kind of rubbing shoulders with other Scout enthusiasts. And though it's kind of hard to pick out many details from the images that I just pointed out a moment ago, you can see kind of beefy tires, a roof rack. It looks as though there might be a bench seat in the front for six passenger seating. But but let's you know, kind of pause things for a moment here. But don't expect to see a Scout in real life anytime soon. The expected release date isn't until 2026, but we might see some concept versions of the Scout EV making its rounds in the auto shows next year. And after that, there'll be plenty of spy photos of Scouts doing road testing in preparation for full production in 2024 and 2025. Now, rumor has it. Now, here's where things get pretty stinking interesting is that rumor has it that Magna, which was part of the team that helped put together the badass Enyos Grenadier up and running, has a hand on the Scout development. And that's a good thing. So the new Scout EV is in great hands if that is the case. And of course, like always, with something like this, as more information is coming available, we're going to keep you guys in tuned as far as what is happening. But looking at these, these kind of teaser, very ambiguous uh, photos, this thing could be pretty darn cool. What do you think of these images here? Leave it, let me know in the comments down below. Now, one of the biggest names in off-road RVs is the Earth Roamer, and they never fail to impress with their creations. Now, Earth Roamers are, well, these things are big and badass to say the least. So whether you want something that you can take off grid for a week or two, or you want something that can survive a zombie apocalypse, Heck, Earth Roamer is for you or maybe for you. Now, their new Earth Roamer SX continues their tradition of taking off road capabilities heck to the next level. Now, the XS is based off of the Chevy Silverado 6500 HD chassis. It has a 6.2, I'm sorry, a 6.6 liter turbo diesel V8 in a six speed transmission, 43 inch monstrous Goodyear tires wrapped around military grade beadlock rims. Now, as you can see in these photos here, the exterior of this thing has a quite imposing Mad Max vibe, but inside is nothing but luxury. Now you can see and sleep six people and take advantage of features like full bathroom. And heck, look at this. This thing has a rain shower, a rainfall shower in this thing, uh, 270 degree views from the large windows and the option to add a washer and dryer for extended off-road trips. Now the SX also comes with increased fuel capacity, larger water tanks, and a impressive, you ready for this? 
18,000 watt lithium ion battery system that will give you all the power that you need even for the longest off grid trips. Now this rig has a diesel air heater and air conditioner so you can enjoy four season camping as well. Now this thing sounds pretty, this sounds pretty good, right? Well, the 2023 model, uh, you can start building on the Earth Rover website right now today. Now, just be aware that this sucker is not cheap. The base price for this thing is just a tick under a cool million, but hey, you get a lot of features and amenities. <laughs> Try to keep a straight face here. You know, seriously though, while this thing is gonna be way out of budget for most people out there, you gotta admire the ingenuity, the design, and just what these guys are able to cram in these things. This thing is an absolute beast. But anyways, this is just scratching the surface of what the Earth Roamer SX offers. For more details on one of these suckers, I'm gonna put a link down below in the description. Now this is the fun time of the year because the finalists for the North America Truck and SUV of the Year are identified. Now every year, I think I have a good idea of what vehicles are going to make the cut, but I'm often surprised and, well, hell, this year is no different. That's a fact. Now the three Truck of the Year finalists are the Chevy Silverado ZR2, the Lordstown Endurance, and what's funny about this is... This is one of those that's kind of a sleeper here. I, I was surprised that this one made it to the list because if you, you know, obviously it's an EV, but it only has a, a, you know, an estimated range of 200 miles, which at the end of the day, this probably gonna convert to like a real, real world range, probably like 160, 170 mile range, which isn't a lot. And then you have the Ford uh, F-150 Lightning. And as for SUVs, you have the Kia EV6, the Cadillac uh, Lyric, and the Genesis GV60 all made the cut. Now, the three trucks really aren't surprising because they are the, well, the one is semi, but these are the only ones that meet the eligible requirements. But the SUV category, now this is a bit of a surprise for me. I thought for sure the Rivian R1S was gonna be one of the finals. I figured the Honda CRV would be there too, given that how Hondas are so excellent in terms of reputation for reliability, reliability rather. Also surprising is that of all the six vehicles to make the finals for the truck of the year and SUV of the year, only one, the Chevy Silverado ZR2, is gas powered. Now, of course, I figured EVs would be well represented, but to think there are five of the six of these here that are EV, that is, uh, that's kind of a, a shift towards where the future's leading. Anyway, it's an interesting field. The winners will be announced January 11th in Detroit. All right, friends, and that is it for the news or the headlines this week. Now, let's shift gear and talk about our current giveaway. Here are the three excellent prizes that we have up this month. We have the Coleman Folding Ghost Stove, we have a camping cookware set from Odolin, and we have the $100 Amazon gift card. Now, friends, as always, entering the giveaway is really simple. First. Step one, you gotta like the video and subscribe to the channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So by all means, start watching some of our other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on 4 World Drive Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you happen to register on the site and uh, during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But friend, as I keep saying over and over again, swinging by, say hello. We would love to see you. And that is it for complete details on the giveaway, including, hey, how to register on 4 Wheel Drive Talk or how to say hello in the forum. Check out the description below. Good luck. And friends, that is it. Now, as always, it's that time of the video where I'm gonna ask you to do all that YouTube stuff. But before I go diving into that, I gotta thank you again for supporting the channel, uh, you know, giving us 15, uh, 10 to 15 minutes of your time watching this video. Hopefully we, you found some value with that. And that said, if you would consider, if you haven't hit that like button already, sure would appreciate you doing so. Hitting that subscribe button already, so therefore we get to see you more often. And last but not least, so therefore you don't miss a single video just like the one that we just, or that you just watched rather, uh, hit that bell so YouTube does its whole notification thing every single time that we come out with a new video. That said, friends, you get out there, stay healthy, and find your adventure.